You know when you see people or yourself, you're running around, you see athletes out in the soccer field or playing hockey or kids running around, every now and again they'll stop and kind of take a break. And what do they do? They bend over and they put their hands on their knees. And this way, their stomach hangs down from gravity. Now their diaphragm can expand further into their stomach, allowing the lungs to really inflate and open up. And now, we can get a good amount of air exchange. And so we blow the, the carbon dioxide off, we breathe in the oxygen, and it's really good. Sometimes you see people, it's called pursed lips breathing. And their lips, they go, Well, the reason they do that is by closing the amount of the hole the air can escape, some of it backs up and it builds up pressure in your lungs. And what that does is makes all your little millions of little avioles, your little air sacs, pop up even more. And now when the capillaries go around them, they can get a quicker, more efficient exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide. And so you can recover faster by breathing off the carbon dioxide and bringing in the oxygen. So when you see someone in distress, this kind of thing, that's called pursed lips breathing. And it's an indication that there's a problem. So if it's an asthma attack or an allergy or someone's got an injury, drowning, pneumonia, things like that, that's how you see it. So put him in sort of that tripod position, sitting in a chair, leaning forward. That helps them breathe, encourage them to maybe go. They'll probably do it naturally, but it's a good idea to help them. Now you're a willing bystander.